So over here we have Elizabeth Bailey with the Mayo Clinic, and you are an RDN. So what exactly is an RDN? An RDN is a registered dietitian and nutritionist. All right. So, so when you hear, you got the credentials. <laughs> when you, I have the credentials. When you hear people like us, you know, complaining, oh my gosh, all the candy, it's hard to. What do you say? Because obviously, an Eat Smart Month is beyond just like a diet, it's kind of a whole way of living, right? Exactly, and my hope is that somebody would take the Eat Smart Month, take healthy eating principles and apply that year round. And really that's the approach, because I know a lot of people, you know, they look into these fad diets because they want results right away. But really what you're talking about is just how to make it really a lifestyle, you know, to always have, you know, just the proper, you know, nutrients and what you're eating. And then uh, also the portion control is also big too as well. Absolutely, and diets I find are extremely popular, especially, especially with the patients that I see at the hospital. And I think that's because diets typically promote quick weight loss. The trouble with the diets is they're often very restrictive. And the problem with restrictive diets is they're not maintainable for the long term. That's why we at the Mayo Clinic, we promote healthy eating patterns in general, and that can be found in the Mediterranean diet and the DASH diet, which stands for Dietary Approaches to Stop Hypertension. So we're talking about heart-healthy diet. I think I want to make sure that we're mentioning the heart because our, our friends over at the American Heart Association are the ones who kind of brought to light this special month design. And do you, is, it, is it not a coincidence that it's November leading into all of the holidays <laughs> right. that we're taking time out to really recognize what we should be eating? It's not a coincidence at all because we start with Halloween, then we go into mm -hmm. Thanksgiving, and then we go into December where we're having a lot of family gatherings, get-togethers and typically we tend to overindulge. And when we overindulge, it might not always be on the healthiest items. Right, so, oh, go ahead, I was gonna say, just walk us through then, what should we be doing? What should the pyramid look like? I know the pyramid changes all the time. Absolutely, so the base of the pyramid for the Mediterranean diet emphasizes fruits and vegetables. The, all fruits and vegetables provide different health benefits. So if you've ever heard the phrase, eat the rainbow, eat the rainbow. But just to focus on a few here, we've got your green leafy vegetables, so somebody could find that kale, spinach, collards. The benefit to the green leafy vegetables, they're high in iron, they're high in calcium. They're also rich in antioxidants, so that's protective against cell damage and can hopefully prevent certain types of cancers. One way to increase green leafy vegetables would be by adding them to eggs if you're cooking eggs in the morning. If somebody doesn't necessarily care for the taste of the spinach, the kale, you could throw that into a smoothie. You won't even know that it's there. So these are the kinds of things, like a, a beautiful presentation like this, that, that kind of get kids to start taking notice. I, I married a man from the Midwest. And <laughs> boy, if you, if you could count on one hand the different vegetables he was open to even trying and eating. So, you know, it, it really is a, a matter sometimes of finding the recipes, Absolutely. right? So, so Mark, like, do your kids, do all of your kids enjoy all of these foods? Probably not all of them, right? They're pretty good, you know, as far as eating fruits and vegetables. They mm -hmm. really are. However, they eat way too much sugar, you know, the bad mm -hmm. sugar. So that's one of the things that I'm always just trying to look at and see and, and regulate. But for the most part, they're still kids, so I still want them to have fun and eat. But as you get older, I think you just have to make some of these changes, you know. Um, one of the things, too, is uh, make three changes in your diet. So sodium, salt. That's one that I do not pay attention to for myself, and I probably should. So wh wh how much do we get per day? Like, what are we looking at for that? So sodium, the recommendation for the day per the DASH diet is no more than 2,300 milligrams of sodium. What does that look like? Yeah, what Excellent that? question. What that so to put that into perspective, one teaspoon of salt Okay. Is about 20. I was hoping you had a cup somewhere. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Sorry. So, so yeah. you carry that with you and you could only just sprinkle that much. And you've got to know that sometimes the food already has it in there. Exactly. So when we eat out, when we eat processed foods, even if we're cooking mm -hmm. at home and we're adding salt, we're getting a lot of salt. So most Americans we find are consuming excess sodium. Mm -hmm. The problem with that, that raises blood pressure, that increases our risk for stroke and for heart disease. Wow, and then you already talked about obviously increasing you know, your intake of vegetables, and then the other one was decreased saturated fat intake. Saturated fat, so to the viewers out there, where are you finding that? Absolutely, so saturated fat, that's our bad fat. We would find that in our solid at room temperature fat. So I think saturated solid, solid oh, at room okay. temperature. So that would include your butter, mm -hmm. your lard. Coconut oil is also a saturated fat. Mm -hmm. And then we also find saturated fat naturally in animal products. So that's part of the recommendation to limit red meat. I know things like beans and, and nuts, coincidentally, are 
consider good fats and Absolutely. of course everything in moderation. But right now we're going to send it out to Rants. Begin nuts. The Nutmobile is in the parking lot. I am with the All right, so what we're going to do is the Nutmobile wasn't ready yet. Apparently, mm -hmm. Rance wanted to eat first. So okay, that's he's out on there, there doing something. So we were talking about the uh, the, the boat. Yes. Yeah, so let's take a look at this. 